a certain amount of rice you want to cook. Of course, you want to use short grain rice, which works best for sushi. So that's uh, one cup right now. I'm going to cook about four cups. That's what I need. Two. Three. And four. Now you gotta wash so let's bring it over here to the sink. You gotta wash the rice pretty thoroughly. Because usually rice is dirty. Once you mix it around, you see this white color come up. Yeah, try to get rid of all of that white color. As you can spin it around, you can uh, actually rub the rice together, but not too hard. Don't break the don't break the grains. If you just rub them together, they'll just uh, rub off themselves the dirt. So usually, I just like to do this for a little bit. Pour out all the dirty water. You basically repeat this, I don't know, like four or six times or something like that until you see the water is pretty crystal clear. It doesn't have to be crystal clear, just clear enough so you can see the rice. So just keep rubbing them together, but not too hard. Get rid of the excess dirty water. Basically, you repeat that a couple of times. Once the water begins to get clear, kind of like this right here, just pour out the excess water. And what I like to do is just blast it with water one more time, just to get it clean. Pour that out. Do it like one more time. Water. All right, bring the rice out of the sink. Set it down. Usually, within a rice cooker, it shows like a little marker right here, which is four cups of rice. So I have four cups of rice right here. I should put water up to this marker right here. There you go. But if you don't have a marker and you're trying to cook some sushi rice, the rule of thumb is water to the sushi rice should be right up to your knuckle. And right now you see it, it kind of passed my knuckle, right? And the reason why you use this rule is because sometimes when you're washing the rice, sometimes you know the rice falls out and your measurements are off. So I'll just pour a little water out. Measure it one more time. There you go right at the knuckle. So let's bring our rice over to the rice cooker. Set it in like that. What you kinda wanna do is put your hand to the bottom of the pot and just stir right under the rice so all the water gets in between the rice. What you don't wanna do is pat the rice down or once it's cooked, it'll come out clumpy. Get all the rice off the side of the pot. Close it, set it, cook it. You'll be right, good. When your sushi rice is about to be done, what you need is a wooden hungiri wooden rice spoon, two damp, actually more than damp, kind of wet towels. What you want to do with the towel is wring it so you get all the water into your hungiri. You want to kind of soak the hungiri, wet, with, wet it with water so the rice doesn't stick. Get a little more water into the towel. Do the same until you see that the wood is really damp. Do the same thing to your rice spoon. And you'll be good to Alright, when your rice is done, you grab it out of the pot with your other wet towel. And what you do is you stab it right to the corners so it'll come out easy. So you do not want to scoop your rice out, or that will ruin your rice actually. There you go. Let's put that in the sink real quick. Wet the towel again. Just 
just to make sure the wood is wet, bring it to the corner. Get your sushi vinegar. This is four cups of rice. I usually use a one to four ratio or maybe a little less, it's up to you. So you get your wooden spoon, sushi vinegar, just pour it on top of the spoon until it covers all the rice. Make sure it's evenly distributed. Should be good. Smash it to one corner. Alright, here you go. Grab one side, chuck it to that side, and just start slicing away. Do not stir, because once you stir, all your rice is going to get really mushy. Just cut it like this right here. It's inevitable that, you know, you're gonna, it's going to stay clean. This is almost, it's sort of like a clean process, but you're going to have rice flying everywhere, but you just clean that right after. Just keep cutting it. It's back and forth. Basically, you just use your wrist, just, just cut it, grab another, do the same. Every now and then you should wipe down your spoon, wipe the sides, keep it moist. All the rice that stays to the side is going to get dry, it's going to dry out. You don't want that with your sushi rice. Just keep cutting. Basically what you want to do is individualize each grain of rice, that's, that would be ideal, but of course it's a little hard, but yeah, that's what you want to do. Alright, and the last piece right there, at this point right here, if you mixed it correctly, then that's all you really need to do, but if not, you should uh, bring it all to one side again cut it at least one more time. This should do. And now what you do is just slice it, spin your Hungarian, so you get a nice and even layer of rice so it can cool down and dry evenly. Once you're stirring one direction, just try to stick with one direction. Don't go backwards. Don't go this way. If you're going this way, just stick to it. Almost looks about even. Yep. Rice off the spoon, get the rice off the sides always. And you let it set like this for about, if you're about to eat your sushi rice right now, you should let it set, let it cool down, I don't know, maybe like five minutes and then you flip it for another five minutes. But if you're, if you're gonna eat it a little later, like you're, you're doing a, a sushi dinner party or something like that, you should actually do it for maybe a minute so the rice will stay hotter. All right, it's been five minutes, so now wipe your spoon down again. Do the same to the side. Flip it so uh, both sides will cool down evenly. It doesn't have to be really, you know, symmetrical. Just so as long as both sides of the rice cool down. So you let it sit like that for another five minutes and uh, you will have your sushi rice. That's about it. There you go. Sushi and rice. to actually check if you did a good job mixing, wet one of your hands for a little bit. Put a little right here. Test it out. Test that side. Four corners basically. And you know, if they all taste the same, then you did a great job mixing. And if you didn't, I suggest you go back and mix it again.